fun game, huh? It was a fun game. You know, I, I thought our kids did well executing the plan uh, that uh, we prepared for them. Our coaches did an incredible job preparing them, um, both on the offense and defensive side. We gave up big plays and, and you know, on all facets, but uh, I thought our guys, uh, especially our coaches, did a great job preparing. How important was tempo in getting out in front of Colorado? You know, I, I thought uh, we needed to have a change in that, and that was one of the, the changes that uh, I wanted to get done, and the, ki the kids were excited just because I think there's so many kids that played in that system prior for coming from high school. I think they're used to that, and so that tempo helped us um, especially keep the defense off balance. Is that really gratifying? Call? You do so many changes. You don't have a bye week, extra time to practice this and everything. Works the plan looks like? Absolutely. You know, it's uh, um, the, the plays haven't changed. The tempo changed, uh, the play calling changes. Um, it is gratifying. I'm crossing my fingers on the sideline hoping it works, you know. But uh, the kids bought in and they trusted uh, the, the uh, changes that I made, and uh, uh, I'm grateful for that. What about your play calling, having to do that? And uh, can you kind of talk about the changes that you implemented and the differences from your game to the Previous yeah, you know, the play calling and then managing the game and making sure the defense, that's a lot. But, uh, um, you know, I, I, I trusted uh, in, in things that I, I put in. Um, I trusted that the, the kids were going to execute. I trusted that uh, Trenton was going to execute exactly what I, what I wanted. And we had those talks. Don't do more than you needed to do. Just stay with me and I'll, I'll kind of I'll guide you through the game. And he delivered well. I mean, and then the kids, um, in an up-tempo, they're running around all over the place. But uh, I thought they did a great job um, executing what needs to be executed. And then when did you make the decision on Trent for the quarterback? At what point? And when did you, you know, I think it was after Thursday practice. Uh, you know, I, I thought they were going evenly. Um, I just thought uh, Trent in decision-making was quicker. His anticip anticipation was quicker uh, that Thursday. And so um, and that's the choice that I make to it. And it's, and it's hard for Emory, and we had that talk. And, and uh, um, the thing about Emory, he told me, Coach, I don't want to do the two series, one series. If you need me, I, I'll be ready. And so that's, he's an ultimate uh, a team player, but, but it's absolutely difficult for him. It's always difficult to win on the road, Coach. But coming in, a new system, no, new tempo, on the road, altitude. What does a win like this do for you? And you're trusting the team. You know, it's uh, it's gratifying. I mean, and they've worked hard this whole week, and then trying to trust the changes and the practice changes because the tempo changes. Um, but uh, um, our guys are fighting through adversity, and uh, I want to make sure that our kids are put in a, uh, a position where they're successful on the field. So sometimes those changes need to be made, um, but it, but it's tough. But I, I, but it worked out tonight. Has practice in the tight end something that you anticipated going into the week, or is it just kind of in the game flow, just kind of presented itself? No, I think, you know, uh, I knew Badger was going to be double teamed, and he, he was going to be primarily the guy that they were going to focus on. Our, our tight ends were, I think, underutilized in some, in some instances, and I think they're, they're athletic enough and big enough, and so I wanted to make sure that there were mismatches, and you saw them all over the, the field. There was mismatches that we could take advantage of. So what do you think about Jalen Conyers' performance in particular? Absolutely fantastic. You know, Jalen uh, is a, was a quarterback, and, you know, he likes to play in that flow. Um, when he went up in that uh, corner and, and made that, that, that play, it was just uh, it was incredible to see, and, and he was happy. And I've seen smiles on their faces. To me, uh, football is football, but when you see smiles on their, your kids' faces and they're having fun, um, that mo means more to me than anything else. How big was that interception by Edmonds with – Colorado having that, that momentum, and then he gets the interception, and then you guys are able to Yeah, to I mean, uh, Chris has done a great job. He's come up and, and you know, saved some runs, made that interception. Um, you know, I, we can't just put him away. I, I just want to stay up three scores, but then they come back, and, and uh, it goes down to wire. So these guys are like cardiac kids, you know, but uh, um, that, that helped a lot. Can you talk about the call um, when they had cut the lead? And you needed to get that first down there, and it was a throw, I guess, to Messiah. You yes. wanted to try and run up the clock. Can you kind of talk about what, that call? You know, you always you always uh, think, well, you have to run the ball out so the clock gets going, right? Um, but I I also understand that they're on the defensive side. They're going to uh, probably move up in the box and put more got guys in the box. And uh, I'm always a numbers guy, and I thought we had better numbers throwing that uh, to the tight end, um, just because if we had to, we had to, we could go top shelf on him because he's a big guy. And so if we missed. I knew if we will miss, we will miss high. And so uh, he, he made the catch, and, and that was incredible. Coach, you had a lot of success 
uh, once you got into the backfield with your run game. Did you see that coming in and, and plan for it, or did it just uh, happen? No, uh, you know, with this kind of tempo offense, you know, you, you, you keep on, you're going to lose a couple, but uh, I wanted to make sure that we kept them going, had the, their two big guys running the whole time, um, and hopefully by the third, fourth quarter, they'll be tiring out, and then we can, we can get on them. But uh, I'm a running back coach by trade, uh, and uh, so I'm going to make sure that I run the football for sure. Coach, how do, you, how do you use a win like this to really build momentum and try to string together some wins here at the end of the season? Absolutely. You know, we've we got a tough game coming up against UCLA. Um, it was a disappointing loss last week, um, and I thought we could have uh, strung out three games going into UCLA. But a win uh, this week, I'll get on the plane, I'll look at uh, the corrections, and then we'll get to uh, UCLA. But that's a big game for, for us. Uh, it's parents' weekend. Um, um, our guys play up to that level, and so I want to see uh, what happens uh, come, uh, uh, come Saturday. With Trenton, you picked him for specific reasons. What what of those reasons did you see show up during the game? You know, because I trusted his decision making, uh, his anticipation. Um, quarterbacks have moxie, uh, when we, and it's hard to explain because that word is so such a cliche. But um, you know, you see quarterbacks that have that little moxie, that have something of that it factor a little bit. Um, I knew that he was comfortable with the system that I've uh, that I've uh, uh, incorporated, um, and so um, that's the reason why I went with him. What made you know that he was comfortable with your system? You know, just just the way he understood what I was trying to do. And, you know, when we had those talks about um, the RPO game or, or the, the passing game, he understood exactly what I'm, I was looking for. You know, his progressions were quick. His anticipation was quick. Um, he, he, when you have a, a, almost a coach on the field at the same time, understanding exactly what the schematics that I want to get done, um, it makes it a lot easier. I know this is right after the game, but does that performance do anything in terms of your quarterback decisions in the future? Trenton won our football game, and uh, he did a great job, and uh, that's it. <laughs> coach, it's, I, I don't know. If the, there's no record of this. An interim coach playing an interim coach. What is that like? Did you <laughs> speak before the game? It's, it's a very uh, unusual situation. Yeah, absolutely, and Coach Sanford and I uh, got together and, and, and talked about it, and it, it's always hard. You know, the, the number one thing that uh, we talked about was making sure that the transition for our kids, we make sure that we're, they're taken care of. Mm -hmm. uh, and I told him that, you know, that transition is hard. I want to, of course, win games uh, and put myself in a situation that I could be their head coach. But for me, I want to make sure that our kids have a great experience. I've taken care of them, love them, because that's, uh, that experience uh, for them, for some of them, they're seniors, and I want to make sure that uh, they remember that experience.